trade with an Israeli settlement from Ireland and face five years in prison. That's if the Irish parliament backs a bill making trade with Israel's West Bank settlements a criminal offence. At its core, the bill is about respecting international law and standing up for the rights of vulnerable people. It is a chance for Ireland to state strongly that it does not support the illegal confiscation of land and the human suffering that inevitably results. A bill that's now expected to pass its second reading in the Irish Senate after the opposition Fianna Fáil party announced its support. It has been seen very much as a strong statement by our parliament that the plight of people who suffer a loss by virtue of a campaign of occupying uh, territories illegally and disenfranchising people who have a natural right and a natural claim to those occupied territories uh, it's been seen as a, an act of solidarity and of support. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict is an emotive issue in Ireland, a country that views it through its own Catholic-Protestant divide and believes its own peace process is a lesson for others. Ireland's governing Fine Gael party has a minority in the Irish parliament. It's against the bill, but only reluctantly. And Fianna Fáil's support could guarantee the bill's passage. We support the broad trust of the bill. We, of course, condemn, as you have done, the illegal settlements and what they are doing uh, in Israel and the occupied territories is a breach of international law. Israel has an entry ban on supporters of boycotts against Israel or the settlements, a law that lets authorities deny visas to boycott activists or deport them from the airport. Israel's strategic affairs minister would not confirm whether he supported barring entry to every Irish lawmaker who backs the boycott bill. A spokesperson said every case would be examined on its merits, generally once Israel knows someone plans to visit. Fina Fall says that threat won't deter. Turret. I would be concerned that Israel would seek to bar a foreign parliamentarian from visiting their country, but it's not something that I would trade my support for the bill in order to be allowed back in again. Jerusalem will be watching Dublin closely, hoping Irish lawmakers don't cross that Rubicon. And if they do, that it will be Ireland, not Israel, that's isolated from the rest of Europe. Elon Levy, I24 News.